Alright guys, this is a very quick video looking at how to make an exhaust quieter without actually changing the exhaust. So on the 1.8 turbo project that we've got, the Octavia RS. Exhaust on that was, well it had a valve exhaust on it, but even with a valve closed, it wasn't quite where I wanted it to be. It wasn't quiet enough. So without actually changing the exhaust, I thought I'd to try I thought I would try two unorthodox ways to quieten the exhaust. So this video is based on an article that's on Drive Tune Media. If you want to read the whole article, there's a link in the video description. So this video is just going to be a summary of that article, what I tried and what the results were. So the first thing I tried was one of these uh, DB inserts that you can get. DB killers they, uh, they're marketed as. So this is what they look like. This is the similar to the one that I had on this exhaust. So you, it's just inserted in there. It comes with uh, one screw that you uh, tie to the exhaust pipe and there is also a cap on the end of it. I'm not sure if you can really see them in the photo. Um, let me see, maybe this is a good one. If you can see there's a cap there at the end so you can run it either with that cap in place or without. I tried both and long story short, it makes a small difference it does make a bit difference you can hear the difference but it's not a great deal quieter I would say at RP 4000 rpm in uh, neutral the volume dropped by about one or two decibels and I was measuring this with a uh, proper sound meter maybe one or two uh, decibels less if you just need something to take the edge of an exhaust the noise of an exhaust then it'll do something but the downside of it obviously is that it is a big restriction so this was 50 millimeter pipe it was in and I think this hole here was probably 40 35 millimeters so it's a big restriction so would I recommend fitting one of these DB killers these exhaust inserts uh, I would say no the restriction is too much versus the gain you get in uh, volume reduction so Personally, I wouldn't bother with it. Uh, and the second unorthodox one I tried was wrapping the exhaust. This is something I stumbled across on a forum. I'll just take you to that forum now. Again, link in the video to this article. This article's got the links. So basically, there was uh, an article on uh, Driftworks, and uh, someone had chimed in by saying that they had good results wrapping a exhaust on an RX, on a rotary, basically, with exhaust trap. So I thought, why not? I had some exhaust strap lying around anyway, so that is what I did. I wrapped the silencer. This is just normal bog standard fiberglass exhaust strap, nothing, no titanium or anything. It's quite heavy, which I suppose is probably a good thing. So I wrapped the silencer in it, and then I wrapped the exhaust in the center section from the cat back to the, just before the rear axle. So was there any difference with the exhaust strap? Uh, the first thing I noticed was the exhaust sounded deeper. There was a noticeable difference with the tone of the exhaust. So that was a plus. And then measuring the dBs, they went from about 83, 84, dropped down to around 82, 83 decibels. So, so again, not a big difference. Uh, which would I say made the most difference, the exhaust strap or the exhaust uh, insert, the DB killer. The, exo the insert did um, slightly more, I would say, and the exhaust strap did slightly more with regards to changing the tone of the exhaust. I didn't really notice the tone of the exhaust changing much with the uh, exhaust insert. Maybe it was even worse. But it was a nicer sound, in my opinion, with the exhaust strap. So exhaust strap uh, so the exhaust insert the db killer no i wouldn't bother with that with regards to wrapping the exhaust uh yeah i would definitely do that especially if it's stainless steel exhaust you don't have to worry about it and perhaps rusting then just to finish off this article i'll just come on then to like the ultimate solution what i'm going to have to do with this uh, 1.8 turbo motor to get the uh, volume down it's just going to have to have more buffalo silences added to the exhaust system. A bigger volume of silence is going to have to be added. With regards to what mufflers to put on the car, uh, straight through mufflers, like the perforated tubes that you see, they're usually sort of a barrel shape exhaust silencer. Apparently they're better for higher frequencies, sort of above 300 hertz. Uh, you can see there's, those are advertised absolutely everywhere. Again, the bigger the volume of that silencer, the better, the more silencing you're going to get. 
Um, but the problem with the 1.8 turbo is that um, the DBs are sort of below 300 hertz. And yeah, and I've said to you, if you're running a big bore exhaust, say 70, 76 millimeter or bigger, I think the problem you're going to have is that it's going to be lo the lower frequencies, 200 to 300 hertz. And for these frequencies, from what I've read, I think a baffled muffler is probably essential if you want to really get rid of those or get them down. Uh, and when I say baffled, I mean like a silencer that's got chambers inside it. They may be packed, they may be not. It's got internal baffles in it. It's got, it diverts the flow. And I've said to you, the issue with these silencers, with the, with the chambers that they've got and with the diversion of the exhaust gas inside the silencer, they can be restrictive. And the rest of the article, I'm not going to go through, guys. If you want to read it, it's this. Just basically what I'm just going through the options that I've got for the Octavia, the thoughts I'm having on what I'm going to do to get an exhaust that's not restrictive and also is quiet so if you want to read that as i said link in the video description that's it for this video guys thanks for watching hopefully you found it helpful if you did you know subscribe to the channel give it a thumbs up if you want look after yourselves and i'll see you again in the next video